Hey guys, it's me Diamond. Well, you know me as Coach Moose. Today I'm going to talk all about my balls. My balls. <laughs> Karen Star Wars Sports. These pretty cool little puppies. This is a little crossball, little peanut ball here. And these little spiky guys, a little spicier. But these are what are known as self myofascia release products. What's fascia? Well, in your body, lining pretty much every organ, every muscle, ligament, it's what allows things to move fluidly. What happens is if we overtrain or we overuse or don't use enough, sometimes we get these little tears or adhesions on some of these tissues. And when that happens in the fascia, well, we get these little hot spots or trigger points. And it impinges us and our ability to move well, which of course affects our quality of life. So I'm going to share some tips and tricks and different exercises looking from ground up today to help you feel better, recover better but also just be more optimal in your physicality. All right, let's start with the feet. What's interesting is we have so many other parts of our body that are connected to the feet. Recently, I found out I had a hip flexor issue on my left side, and it turns out it's because I had an adhesion in the middle of my left foot that I had to work out because it was causing this imbalance. Those with plantar fasciitis know exactly what I'm talking about. First thing in the morning, when you wake up, throw your legs over the bed, start at the ball of your foot, work your way up to the midsole and as you do that you're going to find little hot spots little little adhesions there that you want to work out so then you just hang out apply some pressure using your body weight and gravity together work it up to the heel and vice versa work it back and forth working both feet for a couple minutes trust me if you travel a lot you're going to want to take one of these guys with you too because it makes a big difference on the quality of that airplane ride all right next we're going to talk about your piriformis What's your piriformis? It's your butt. <laughs> so if you spend a lot of time in a seated position, chances are this muscle needs some work. Um, so you can use like a lacrosse ball, awesome. I actually like the spiciness of this guy. It covers a little bit more surface area, but it also just gives you a little extra stimulation because it's got these little teeny pressure points on it. So we're gonna get it up on there. I'm just sort of working my butt cheek on there. There we go, I'm gonna move it around until I get it just positioned right. Oh. That's the spot. Now, what I like to do is when I get into the right position, I'll start to play with my leg, like left leg right now. I'm just elevating it, changing the angles, just to sort of hit it a little bit differently. When I find that trigger point, that little spicy point, you know, because you're fighting a grimace, <laughs> you're probably in the right spot, hang out there. Roll back and forth, move it around. Oh yeah. And if you want to make it really spicy, take the other leg place it up over top. Now I've got an additional pressure on there. Now obviously I've worked my butt a lot hence I can do this. This one you might want to work into. All right this next one we're going to use the peanut. Now this is great. I used to have to tape two balls together. It got really cumbersome. It just never worked very well. I love this because it's easy to travel with but we're going to work on our thoracic spine. And now you're probably wondering where is it? Well, it's the upper back. If you have rounded shoulders, a lot like this, because you play the computer all day long, don't worry. This is gonna be something that's gonna help you open up, get better posture. It's gonna relieve a lot of tension in the upper back and traps, neck, which relieves a lot of the tension in our heads, helps us reduce stress, and great for recovery. So I'm gonna, I've used this as a little thing for my neck, a little pillow there. I'm gonna move this back so it's right in between the shoulder blades. Oh yeah, there's the spot. I'm gonna put my pillow here so I can just relax my head. I'm gonna put my legs down. Now I'm gonna put my hands straight up in the air. This applies a bit more pressure. Oh. Sink into it, deep breath. When you find that spot, now give yourself a little hug. Deep breath in, exhale. Another one I like to do is I put the hands straight up in the air. I then gonna move left hand all the way back. Oh my goodness. Switch it out. When I find that spot, I wanna move it up maybe just a bit more. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. This is one you wanna do every day. I swear you can't do it too much. All right, the next few movements are all for the upper body. We're gonna look at the chest, 
the shoulders or your delts, as well as the upper back and traps. All areas that if you do a lot of exercise, a lot of working out, you're probably fairly tight in those areas and you, don't, you really need to do this. So you can either use a little spiky guy or you can use the little cross ball. I'm gonna use the spiky guy right now. Ooh, that's the ticket. Hang out, remember to breathe. The neat thing with using a wall is you can adjust how much pressure you want to actually apply. If you find that using the wall is a bit too aggressive, you can always use your hand as well and sort of press in and find that spot. Oh, there it is. Good, hang out. Next, let's just look at the upper back real quick. If, we all know we love shoulder massages, right? Well, no, you don't need somebody there to do it. You can do it on your own. Find the trigger point. You can try playing with different ranges of motion. Test and retest. Awesome. All right, well, there you have it, folks. You got to watch me for a few minutes playing with my balls. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to encourage you, make sure to hit those links. Go to the Starwood page and check out some of these products. You can get some user reviews. You can also learn a couple other neat exercises you can do with them. But if you apply self myofascia release techniques to your own body and you put into daily practice man within a week you'll notice a world of difference you'll be moving better you'll be feeling better you're gonna just be more optimal right and what happens when we move more optimally well life just gets way more enjoyable so tune in next time as i share some more mashing techniques peace out